Hey folks, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm taking a few weeks off to spend time with my daughter here, uh, but I put together a fun little clip show of some greatest hits that I hope you all enjoy. Um, but let me know what you want to see when I come back. Leave a comment below and uh, I'll be back soon. Cheers. Ooh, someone's got the hiccups. Been hitting the bottle. Come on in. What? Just making a fresh batch of green Russians. And I can already tell you right now, this is gonna be terrible. However, I think we can make a version of this that actually tastes good while retaining the spirit of the green Russian, pardon the pun. Let's see if we can have some fun with this green chartreuse and green tea. For our dairy, we're gonna add one cup or about 235 mils of whole milk to a bowl, because we're gonna be making a clarified milk punch. Buckle up. Put that aside and then grab a pitcher to which we're gonna add two cups or about 470 mils of brewed green tea. Then we're gonna add one third cup or about 75 mils of fresh lime juice, another one third cup or 85 grams of sugar, two thirds cup or 150 mils of green chartreuse, and finally another two thirds cup or 150 mils of vodka. Give that a quick stir to dissolve the sugar and I'm feeling like we should pour this into the milk. Pam, what do you think? Absolutely not. Now, well, too late, it is happening. And right away, you will see that the acidity from the lime juice is causing the milk to curdle. Now, what's happening here is that the casein proteins of the milk are coagulating and they'll actually bind to some of the astringent tasting tannins of the tea. Now, I know you're thinking this looks pretty gross. Don't worry, we're gonna filter all this stuff out and you'll see why that makes this drink awesome. Now this filtering is a multi-step process, so I'm gonna start by putting a strainer over a cambro and then filter all of it through this nut milk bag. That's gonna capture a lot of the big curdles first. Now if you're a no-waste person, you can save those curds and maybe make a cheese or maybe some hipster face lotion, I don't know. But then we're gonna collect all that into a pitcher and we can see it's not very clear yet, so we need to do another pass through a fine coffee filter. Now I will warn you, this process takes a long time. To get it through that fine coffee filter is gonna take upwards of 30 minutes. But just set it and forget it. Once it goes all the way through, I usually run it through again one more time and it's much quicker the second time. And what we're left with is this incredibly clear punch and because the whey protein from the milk remains, this is gonna have a lot of body and richness. And if you keep this cool, it will last for years without spoiling. So this is gonna yield about five five ounce servings, and we're gonna just take a rocks glass with a clear ice cube and pour it over the top. Now that is a thing of beauty right here. All right, so we got all the elements of the green Russian. We got our green, we got our vodka, we got our milk. Let's give it a taste. Man, whenever I have a clarified milk punch, I'm always blown away by just how smooth and rich it is. The astringency from the green tea is completely gone and you just get this delicious herbal sweet punch that goes down real easy. Phrasing. Okay, here we go. So we have uh, tequila and coffee liqueur. All right, so we can make, I guess this will be a uh, black Mexican. What? No, that's not racist. That's what it is. If you added milk, it would be a white Mexican, but all we have is breast milk, ew, which would make it a rusty Krieger. Oh, oh God. Wow, that is mierda. But with a few modifications, I think we can make a drink that is truly excelente. First, we're gonna start by swapping the Kahlua for Mr. Black, which is a coffee liqueur out of Australia that has a much more intense coffee flavor and is less sweet. I've been using this a lot recently in various cocktails and it's really tasty. So here we're gonna get a mixing glass and start with one half ounce or 15 mils. Now to add a bit more sweetness, some aromatics and some more body to the drink, we're gonna add some sweet vermouth. So I'm gonna add three fourths of an ounce or about 22 mils. Now to take it south of the border, I'm gonna switch to a Blanco tequila, which I prefer for mixing. Another three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils into the mixing glass but I'm thinking that coffee liqueur and the vermouth is gonna stand up really well to the smokiness of a mezcal. So I'm gonna do another three-fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of a mezcal into the glass. And we know chocolate pairs well with coffee, so we're gonna hit this with one dash of chocolate bitters. Add some ice to the mixing glass, and then we're gonna stir it for about 45 seconds to chill and add some dilution. Again, we're gonna take a rocks glass, but this time just add one big ol' rock to it, and we're gonna strain the drink over the top. 
I think this chocolate and coffee and smoke would pair nicely with a little bit of orange. So we're gonna do an orange twist. Just spray some of the oils over the top, rub the rim of the glass and drop it in. All right, our improved black Mexican. Smells like orange, tastes really delicious. But the bitterness of the coffee liqueur plays off of the smokiness of the mezcal in a really nice way. And that vermouth just kind of rounds it out. And you get a hint of chocolate flavor on the back from those bitters, it is really nice. I'd describe it like a mezcal Negroni, but with coffee. It's awesome. And of course, your mother would do anything to impress the CIA, so... Oh my god! You have to try this. Hot cocoa, dark creme de cacao, hint of creme de menthe, and peppermint schnapps. I call it a peppermint patty. Here. Wow, that is your major loss. Ooh, can I try it? No. All right, let's break this down. First, we're going to need to make some hot cocoa. We're going to take two tablespoons of our cocoa mix here and just add those directly into a saucepan. And we're going to want this nice and creamy, so to that we're going to add about six ounces of whole milk. You're going to mix that up and heat it until right when it starts to boil. Then remove it from the heat and pour it into a thermos like this. Make sure you get it all in there. Phrasing. All right, let's get boozy with this now. So start with one ounce of peppermint schnapps. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce of our creme de cacao. Here we're using a bottle that has some strong dark chocolate and vanilla notes. And finally, we're gonna add half a bar spoon of our creme de menthe. Did I pronounce that right? Now that we've got all our ingredients in there, let's give that a stir and try it out. Man, this goes down real easy. Phrasing! The mint and chocolate play off each other really nicely. The only downside to this drink is that it's a little bit weak. And knowing that Archer likes to be in the danger zone, let's add about an ounce and a half of brandy. And that's Archer's peppermint patty. A bit on the sweet side, but damn if it isn't tasty. But if the hot cocoa thing's not for you, there's always two fingers of the good stuff. <laughs> Phrasing. Again, thanks for watching, y'all. Um, I'll be back soon with some more videos. Uh, leave a comment below on what you want to see. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this, I'll put a couple other videos up on screen that you might also like. See you soon.